Hello everybody, um, I'm Mrs. Campbell and I'm Head of Consumer Studies at Fairmont High School and I'm going to tell you a little bit about Consumer Studies as a subject. I call it Consumer Studies because it's about consuming and also about studying and the practical side of it counts 25%. So realize it's not just a practical subject, it has a lot of theory that's involved and very specific theory um, that the learners have to get to and the theory side counts 75% of the, the mark at the end of the year. I've brought my props here, so we've got A, B, C, all right, and on my apron. The grade 10s always start off as green because they still really, they think they know, but they don't really know, okay, still learning. The grade 11s are starting to ripen a bit and getting a feel of the subject, and the grade 12s are hopefully ripened by the end that they're ready to um, apply the work and do well in, in grade 12. So it's a subject that we build in, in layers. So that's where my, my, my ABCs come in, all right? Um, I was just thinking about it. A is very much, it's an application subject. Whatever you learn does have an effect on your lifestyle of, of um, everyday living and thought. So whatever you learn, you can apply to a situation. And 50% of the theory paper is application. So um, it's about applying, but it's also about achieving. The more you put into the subject, the more you're going to get out of it. Those learners that sit back and think it's just a practical subject don't do very well. All right, those learners that put the effort in and put the effort into the studying and developing the skill then they start to achieve and get better. All right, my B is for building on the basics, all right, where we start in grade 10 and we actually start some of the grade 12 work in grade 10 and then we build on it from there. So it is a subject, it's a good idea to take it from grade 10 onwards and not just to drop into it at a later stage because don't always catch up as easily. So if it's, if it's your passion, start in grade 10 and let's build from there so that you can do better. And then C is about consuming and creating. Now, often learners think it's about consuming, gobble, 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 taking everything in, all right? But it's about being able to create products that somebody else can purchase. So the focus of consumer studies is entrepreneurship and being able to run a small-scale business. So it's about being creative and creating something else that somebody else isn't making and marketing it and selling it. Um, and then it's also about building confidence. You know, often in grade 10, a little bit unsure, it takes a while for them to settle in, but by grade 12, you hopefully have the skills to know what you're doing and be able to answer those questions confidently. So also with the practical lesson, I use my ABCs, apron, bandana, container, and, and cloths. Um, those are essential, so they have to purchase an apron pack and that costs 250 Rand, and then every time we do a practical lesson and a double lesson, then your items must be um, ready, ready for use. So as I said, it's a very broad subject. It links in with a lot of other subjects, and the five components that we look at is uh, the consumer or consumerism. So it's all about the consumer rights and who the, cons the consumer and the producer and the consumer rights and responsibilities. Grade 11, we do the budgeting and marketing that's involved there. And grade 12, um, we do a little bit about the Consumer Protection Act and the consumer organizations. So, you know, career-wise, you want to be a co consumer lawyer, anything like that, you're going to have those basics. The next section is food and nutrition, a, a big section. All right, that we start with uh, grade 10, the food pyramid and the food groups and the basics of meal planning. Grade 11, we do nutrition in a lot of detail. And grade 12, we link it to, to all the diet therapies, how we would uh, plan menus for somebody who's diabetic or has heart disease or has allergies. Um, a lot of theory is involved there. So if you want to be a nutritionist and um, work at a hospital or a dietitian, anything like that, lots of careers involve nutrition. And then the next section is fashion and clothing. So we do the basics of textiles and fibers and a bit of fashion design kind of in grade 11, the art elements and principles of design. Grade 12 is more fashion for the world of work. 
Um, so they could also link in with being a fashion buyer for any of the major clothing retail stores. And then um, the fourth one is housing and furnishings. We also, again, we do the basics in grade 10, but to grade 12, we're kind of looking at almost things for uh, estate agency kind of work, uh, comparing the different options of, how, of renting and the contracts involved and the finances involved. And then the last section that has become very important, the subject has moved from like being home economics to consumer studies, which is about entrepreneurship, being able to run a small scale business. So being able to think differently and create products, and that is very relevant with this whole um, change in, in society of people running businesses from home and delivering food and things like that. So the whole aspect of promotion and marketing and putting that in place and costing and pricing, we, we do as well. So as you can see, it, op it has a lot of options that it opens that it opens up. It's a wonderful subject if you're prepared to put the work in. Okay, um, and as teachers, we're gonna be quite tough to make sure that you up your game and you, you do well in a subject like this. We're willing to support you, prepared to do your side of the story. Thank you very much.